The next question says moment of inertia of a thin uniform rod about an axis perpendicular to its length and passing through its center of mass is I. The part AB of the rod is cut off. The moment of inertia of the remaining rod BC about the same axis is. In the question the diagram is given something like this. So this is the rod of length L. The axis which they are talking about the from the first part is this where the point over here is B. This point is A. And this point is C. And so this length is given as L by 2. Now in the first case the moment of inertia is taken from this axis for the entire rod and that will be I1 which is I which by formula will be ML square by 12 the standard formula for the axis passing through the center of the rod and perpendicular to the rod. Now this part AB is cut off. So if this part is cut off we are left with only the part BC for which the length will be L by 2 mass will definitely be m by 2 because half the rod is cut off the axis is still the same as they have asked us to take so now this axis is not the one passing through the center of the rod but instead it is passing through one end of the rod so i2 is going to be m dash l dash square by 3 which is the standard formula for the moment of inertia for the axis passing through one end of the rod and the perpendicular to the rod. So here we know m dash is m by 2, l dash is also l by 2, the square will be l square by 4 upon 3. So if we rewrite this it can be written as m l square by 3 into 4 into 2 as 24 which is nothing but i by 2 because ml square by 12 was i so if I multiply and divide by 2 over here I get ml square by 24 over here and 2 over here the 2 goes down and so we get answer as i by 2 so the new moment of inertia is half the old moment of inertia